Ship Home. Expect it, a special Labor Day event, Monday, September 4th at 9, only on us. I've done some great work with Mum. I've taught both parents how to do this and this, so now it's time for me to work with Dad. I think it would be a good thing to build Dad's confidence, and that's why I'm going to leave him with all of the kids to juggle. I'm going to really send you off for a couple of hours. <laughs> So you can go and do whatever you want to do because I need to get Dad in a place where he's feeling confident with all of the kids. It caught me off guard because I wasn't at all expecting to be able to just get away for a couple hours and she wanted me to spring it on Keith. I think I'm going to just go take some time for myself That's fine. for a little while. That's a good idea. When Sandy told me that, I was a little nervous, but I was worried about, man, if Miles wakes up, if Miles hungry, and they got the boys over here. Bye, guys. Oh, enjoy, yes. How am I going to juggle? Yeah, where are you? This malarkey here going on with Jeff is not necessary. He needs to know what you expect from him at that table. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Right now, I want you to sit at your table. I want you to eat your food. You're not getting down from the table until we're all done. Do you understand? Jet has been warned, but he still wouldn't cooperate. Jet, you need to sit in this seat like a big boy. You're five years old. Act like it, okay? Lunch took longer than what it should have, and Dad ran into more trouble when he let the boys out to play. Trey, get over here now. Now. Trey. And when it came to Trey's nap, he hit another snag. Keith. Yeah. What are you gonna do, your baby? Personally, I don't think there's a problem with me running inside real quick and keeping him out here because I feel like the boys, if I tell them not to touch him, hopefully won't. What are you thinking? Your kids are having trouble listening to you. Yeah. Stay at the dining table. Take him with you. Okay. That way you know that he's inside while you're putting Trey to bed. Okay. And he's safe. Dad eventually did get Trey down for his nap. Okay, it is now quiet time. If you want to play with those, you can. And no one makes noise, but just play quietly. Quietly. Okay. Dad did have a successful afternoon managing all of these boys. However, I do know that he needs more time with baby Miles. So with Mum back home to look after the older boys, I knew I could then give Dad that special little cuddle time with baby Miles. Right, Keith, we're going to do a little bit of parent craft. Okay. Miles, bath time. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Please. When I do get my one-on-one -on -one time with Miles, I'm not as comfortable as I thought. I was very comfortable with each of the other kids. And with Miles, I know it's up in the air. It says, how high should the water be? Is that one, and a half, one and a half, two inches. One and a half, two inches, so much. Keith wants to have that connection with Miles. So even if it's just a 10-minute bath that he gets with him, that's huge. You're then going to place your index finger and your thumb supporting the neck. Right. Since Miles has been born, I haven't even given him a bath. And it's one of my most favorite things to do. Good job, Miles. So good to be clean? Sure, that's been clean a little while. Okay. Here, okay. After the bath, I wanted to make one more point about applying the baby lotion. The fact that you can stroke and touch your baby yeah. is another way of you bonding. And it's just very, very soft. It's your fingertips. Lovely firm round circular motions or strokes down. It's another way to touch. That's nice. I feel like I'm getting that bond with him. And I feel like he's recognizing me more. I'm finally getting that sense of feeling like we're connecting as son and dad. After the bath, I thought what I'd do is check that baby log. He woke up at 4 this morning yeah. and he had 4 ounces. Yeah. And then he was probably down by like 4.30. And he slept till 8 this morning. All right, we need to really put in the details of it. Because by the time you get down to like 2 weeks, you're going to go wake up at a four. Where did he go to sleep? So oh. at least that's just a bit more thorough. Okay. okay. I want you literally You're right, they won't remember. There's no way. Mum and Dad could do with more detail in the baby log, but I mean, they're definitely yeah. making progress, and I think it's serving them really well. Then he slept till 8 a.m. That's brilliant. And then he should be down till maybe 4 or 5 in the morning. Yeah, correct. Nice. Life is nice. Joe has helped us to blog everything, and it's working very well. Baby's sleeping and eating much better. When baby's happy, mommy's happy. Even though Dad travels a lot, I wanted to show him that when he is at home, he could definitely use his imagination to have fun with these boys. What we have here, Mum and Dad, is a chest 
that has lots of accessories inside it. And today what we're going to do is a big animated story. Once upon a time, three little boys and their mommies and daddies went on a big, big safari to go look for animals. Maybe some lions. Ah! Or maybe some elephants. Woo! Creative time with the kids is important. I unfortunately haven't been able to be that creative in a while. Let's see if there's a cow over here on the safari. He has just done remarkable. He's confident. He enjoys every minute with all of them. So it's so good to see. I love it. Say hocus pocus and send this home. Say hocus pocus. Yes, you're ready. Go. Focus, focus. Send us home. Grab us all. Okay. okay. And then he said, I can go get you my girl. And we all went home. Woo! We're going away for several days. So you, what I would love to see is another one of those trips over at the park. Okay. okay but with baby. <laughs> all right. What I will struggle with most while she's gone is time out. I lose my patience. And now I'm going to get frustrated. And I'm just hoping that we won't need to go there. We're going to have to remember, it's not octopus here, doing 20 things at once, all right? It's recognizing that you do this, and then you can do that afterward. And while Joe's gone, the, oh, the biggest concern for me is the disciplining, trying to get the kid to sit on that naughty chair. Bye-bye. Yeah. It's time for Sonia and I to put everything together that Joe's taught us and uh, make it work. All right, guys. Thanks so much, Joe. I think that these parents have done great. However, it's going to be important to stay on track so that they don't burn themselves out. They're going to have to be careful. Coming up on Super Nanny. We're going home. Mom's trip to the park ends in panic. I warned you. You need to listen to me. I'm tired watching it. And emotions run high in the DVD meeting. That was crazy. When Super Nanny returns. And now, ask Super Nanny. How should you position a sleeping baby in their crib? A, on their tummy with a light pillow. B, on their back at the bottom end of the crib. C, on their side at the top end of the crib. Find out the answer when we return. <laughs>